Race number nine of the afternoon, top of the stretch, Reggie's game. Rusty Roddy, the Lightful Wine, Cool Dew, Emperor, Hardy Mill Joe, top of her trade, in the back tier is the Arquin. They are off and uh, pacing. Rusty Roddy will get the first call for the far outside. That's top of her trade, leaving alertly as they race into that first turn. Emperor on the outside is caught wide as they continue into the Redland Farms backstretch for time one. They're led by Rusty Roddy. Outside, that is Emperor moving on for second inside. Delightful Wine is away third inside fourth Reggie's game. Gathered up and taken back to find a seat. Top of her trade will settle in five. Next in line, that's E.R. Quinn from sixth, the seventh one is a cool do and eighth and trailing is hearty mill joe they race on over now to the three eights and up front it's rusty roddy to dictate the pace leads emperor by one length who has found the pocket next in line delightful wine he is pacing on a third holding down the four spot reggie's game and looking at it from five off the top turn is top of her trade followed by er quinn then back to cool do and hearty mill joe remains at the back of the field 27 and three was the quarter they arrive at the half. Rusty Roddy is the boss as they race into the lower turn. Emperor tracking from the pocket. Third on the inside and staying in his delightful wine. First over. Here comes E.R. Quinn starting up the other flow fourth. Inside and racing in five. That's Reggie's game. Gapped in cover outside. Sixth for Cool Dew. Then back on the inside is seventh. As they race to the back stretch, is top of her trade and still at the back at eight is Hardy Mill Joe, the half 57 and four on their way to the three quarter mile mark. Rusty Roddy drawing out now by some three open lengths. Inside second Emperor, outside and stalled on the first over path is ZR Quinn. They race on now to the seven eighths and Rusty Roddy has an advantage of some four open lengths now as they race midway around the final turn. 127 and four was the three quarters. Out of the three wide path, Cool Dew is gaining ground. Inside Emperor trying to hang in there as they race off the top turn and straighten out for the stretch drive. They're all chasing Rusty Roddy, who's still clear by four or five lengths. A late closing. Hardy Miljo will get up to finish second. And in the battle for the show spot, it's tight between Cool Dew and a closing delightful wine. The mile at 159 flat. Back in the Woodmere Farms winner's enclosure is the ninth race winner, number two, Rusty Roddy, 12-year-old chestnut gelding by Blissful Hall. Owned by Chantel Angel and Dana Ghetto, Paul Angel of the bike, his third winning drive of the afternoon 
Rusty Roddy facing in 159 flat. Race nine is official. One Reggie's game finished fifth. Two Rusty Roddy, the winner. Three Delightful Wine finished fourth. Four Kuldu was third. Five Emperor, six. Six Hardy Mill Joe was second. Seven Topper for Trade, eight. And eight E.R. Quinn finished seventh. Fractions were 27 and three, 57 and four, 127 and four. And Rusty Roddy winning in 159 flat. From the top, five, one, four, three, six, two, eight, seven. Ninth race try, 264 combination, $103.70. The $2.26 exactly, $29.10. Up next, race 10, final Philly division of the Donnie and George Turner Memorial. They'll race for a purse of 10400 No changes. Post time in less than six minutes. Well, we have a champion. The winner of the Survivor is Mel. Who is it? I see that Julie Gillis of Charlottetown is the Survivor who survived and made it through until the end of today's challenge. Now note that the Survivor winner doesn't have to make it to the end of the card. They only have to be the last one standing and Julie did just that. So congratulations on the $100 credit to your Horse Player Interactive account. Uh, great success on a day of some long shot winners here at Truro Raceway. Yes, congratulations, Julie. I hope you enjoy those $100 in HPI credit. So we're moving on now into another division of the stake race later on here in the card, race 10. 
I should say right now <laughs> on the card. This is race 10, the Donnie and George Turner Memorial. This is the second division for the three-year-old pacing fillies with exactor and triactor wagering. And this one is where I thought I found my best bet from post seven. Rose Town Mary at a post seven you thought you found your best bet. You may have found your long shot play with 24 to 1 on the morning line right now with Corey McPherson training and driving. She won her qualifier in two minutes and four fifths. What was appealing about her to you? Well, Corey McPherson is a big part of the story. Uh, he's an exceptional driver here. And to look back at his stakes performance with Salzbrook Ian in race nine is adequate evidence. This is a slightly tougher post, I think. It's an outside post. And this Peng Shui filly is rather uh, light in the resume last year but what a qualifier uh, at Summerside on May 15th if you take a look uh, she did distance the field uh, just going away on the front end by over 20 lengths to win there so she's coming in very strong from Summerside off of that mile and she, that makes her my top choice in this field that that uh, nonetheless has a lot of other options yeah the option that sugar doyle and i both took was the rail sitter rock and roll case in here well i really became impressed with her last year in the atlantic breeders count consolation where she went easily and won in 156 and 4 closing quarter 29 and 3 with regular driver ken murphy on that day the duo have paired up for two wins and two seconds so far and that most recent second came on May 6th in Charlottetown, where they were beaten by only a half length by Redland Bethany Jean, who's a two year old track record holder here at Truro Raceway. But yeah, that mile started in 158 and 1. Jeff Holmes and Kenny Murphy, they get along well uh, for in terms of trainer and driver. They tend to do well with each other. So I like that. Mark McKelvey has the six in here, Go Sister, Soul Sister. He's a bit of a lone wolf in here, as are you, Mel. What do you think about Mark's top selection? Well, take a look at the trainer again. It's a familiar name, Jamie Smith, who did win the Colt division of the Donnie and George Turner Memorial back in race eight today with Salzbrook Ian. So that same trainer is aboard, or I should say training, uh, the six. Go Sister, Soul Sister here with Dave Dowling doing the driving and another one coming in off a strong qualifier, this one from Charlottetown on May 11th. So if you're looking to that, the return off a strong qualifier, those two outside fillies both uh, deserve some attention and they're getting it from me and Mark McKelvey while you and Sugar go for the rail with Ken Murphy and a rock and roll K's. Well, the starters will be on track in just a moment. Joe Kelly will have the post parade right shortly.